Today, the Kia PBA playoffs kick off with a pair of superstar showdowns. Top seed Jason Belmonte seeks his first playoff championship. But in order for him to advance, he'll have to take down his best friend and 2020 playoffs winner, Bill O'Neill. And what about last season's playoff champion? Reigning PBA Player of the Year, Kyle Troop. Squares off with the always dangerous, Sean Rash. The Kia PBA playoffs start now on FS1. home to the world-famous Kegel Training Center, this year host of the opening rounds of the 2022 Kia PBA Playoffs. What a field of bowlers for you, our very own Sweet 16, the top 16 of the PBA points list for 2022. The left side of the bracket features the number one ranked player in the world, Jason Belmonte, four-time tour champ this year, Kyle Troop here to defend his title. On the right side, two-time major champion this season, Anthony Simonson, EJ tacking a doubles title this year. There's Hall of Famer Tommy Jones at the sixth seed. Look at the matchups we've got for you. Best friend versus best friend, Belmo O'Neill and Sean Rash and Kyle Troop. What a matchup, eight versus nine seed. What a day of bowling coming for you here on FS1 from Lake Wales. Welcome Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson, and this crowd wow. is awesome. Great. What talent, 16 bowlers, Randy, one dream, a PBA Tour title, $100,000 on the line, but this is gonna be a tough road to win this thing. Yeah, I mean, it really is, and our opening matchup is awesome. I mean, Jason Belmonte, the number one player on the planet, taking on his best friend and tour roommate in Bill O'Neill. But what a season this man is having in 2022. Four wins, another major. He's made just over a quarter of a million dollars. I mean, the only thing he hasn't done is win this event. Then you think about Bill O'Neill, who's won this event a couple years ago in suburban DC, but he barely snuck in, Randy, because Norm Duke lost USB Masters final last week in Vegas. He's number 16. Yeah, I think it, it was a, a great comment that he made uh, about that tournament, the Masters. He said, I couldn't watch. I couldn't root against Norm Duke, couldn't watch. Extended play now for Bill O'Neill. All right, so who's going to win this thing? Let's check out the odds to win at Fox Bet. Belmo is a huge favorite, minus 500. Then Bill O'Neill, plus 350 against his best friend. And the two guys join lane level now by Kimberly Presley. The graphic up there, but it said that that guy to the right of you is the heavy favorite to win today. But you've won this event before, and going against him on TV, you actually have come out the victor more times than he has. Shouldn't that make you the favorite to win today? I mean, listen, he should be the favorite. He's the best bowler in the world. He's, he's bowling unbelievable. But every time I come out here, I have supreme confidence in, in my ability. And no matter who I bowl, I think I can win. And Belmo, what do you say about what he just said? Yeah, no, I think he's got the right frame of mind. I mean, when you lace him up, if you think the other guy's going to win, then you might as well take your shoes off and just let him, let him win the match. So um, I never expect Bill to, to go easy. He's always a phenomenal athlete, especially in these one or two game matches. He's really difficult to beat. So I'm going to be switched on and sharp, and uh, I intend to be. Well, I know these fans are ready to go and see you guys bowl, so we're not going to hold this up any longer. Good luck to you both. Kimberly, thank you. Best buddy versus best buddy. Belmo front runner for a seventh Chris Shanko PBA Player of the Year award this year. The all-time PBA Majors King rolls out of Orange 10-pin bowl in Orange, New South Wales, Australia, Jason Belmonte. Well, 2022, what a special season for this man. Listen to these numbers. First at the Players' Championship, third at the U.S. Open, first in Kokomo, first at the Scorpion Championship, third at the Shark Championship, and first at Lubbock. He is your frontrunner for Player of the Year honors once again. What a season for Belmo. The bounce back from a subpar for him anyway, 2020. Playoffs history, well, semifinal is the best run so far for the best bowler on the planet. Middle of the shot, seven pin stand for Belmo as we begin the 2022 Kia PBA playoffs. A round of 16, it's a race to two. It's tied one game each. We will have a ninth tenth frame roll off. Pretty unlucky with this one, solid seven. 
to start. And he's going to go with urethane early on. Ball pattern's a little tricky. Conversion. Bowling out of AMF Bristol Pike and Croydon, Pennsylvania, the 2020 PBA Playoffs champion, Bill O'Neill. And Bill O'Neill with 13 career titles and two majors. He's a shoe in for the Hall of Fame someday. But talk about knowing how to make money in this event. He was runner up in the inaugural playoffs in 2000, or excuse me, in 2019, and then followed it up the very next year by winning the whole thing. Just a cool $150,000 he's made in the PBA playoffs. That's all, just 150 grand. Playoffs history, there you see it. Runner up to Chris Prather, Portland, Maine, 2019, a raucous house as the Shark took that one. Won it in Centerville, Virginia, 2020. KO'd in the quarterfinals last year. In Connecticut. Bill O'Neill, right lane, will help cross tech. And a 10 pin down. O'Neill using urethane as well, and this is a massive messenger to open up this match against his best friend and tour roommate. Wow. The storylines are amazing with his first match. One way to start the Kia PBA playoffs here in FS1. Best friend versus best friend. Belmo looking for player of the year. He'll barely snuck in as the 16th seed thanks to Norm Duke's loss to Simo last week in Vegas. Two future Hall of Famers head to head. Left lane. Shot Rainy Tempin. Well, here at the Kegel Training Center, you couldn't ask for a better playing field. The topography is absolutely perfect. Blaine's surface is perfect. The only thing they have to battle is a tricky oil pattern. We're going to get to that in a little bit. But so should we see high scores? Well, it depends on how the lanes break down. These players are using urethane to start. And we're going to have to wait and see. Tempin got that. Do you like the urethane choice early? I, I don't like urethane. I think it destroys an oil pattern, but the players use it because it's very predictable, especially when they want to go straighter. Format, as we talked about. We've got to get to two wins. If we're tied after two, we'll have a ninth to tenth frame roll off, which can be incredibly exciting. Oh. Right lane for Belmo. Looking for help somehow. The four pin stands. See that drift to the left? Gets his hips out of the way for that two-handed delivery. Four print got that, been on the road a long time. Landed in the United States back on January 11th. We'll head home on April 15th. After a brief stop at the Storm headquarters in Utah. Couldn't imagine being away from home for that long. There's his arsenal. He's going to the pitch black. See plenty of international players in the PBA playoffs this year. Jesper Svensson, Don Barrett. Guys have been overseas for a long time. Three months. Come on. Blast through that rack. Crushes the one three pocket. Down they go. That rev rate approaching 540. Just inside second arrow. Full rack attack right there. Yeah, what a career. Bounce back complete at 22. O'Neill right lane. Oh, yeah, that's a great shot. Sure, he said it was this week. He feels a little lucky to be in. Did one room root against Norm Duke, of course, from Vegas last week with the Masters final. Who would? <laughs> it's just tough to yeah. watch, you know? So we didn't watch. 
Arsenal for the real deal. Purple hammer for Bill. The 16 seed, left lane. Nice, trick 10 pin. Take a look at today's Brunswick oil pattern, the Don Cotter 39-footer. Yeah, and you can see early on what the players are doing. Or these two players, anyway, they're going real straight with the urethane right around that second arrow mark. And I look for them to break the lanes down and then go to reactive resin later, move in and throw it to that same spot down lane. Belmo has one word for this year, it's boom. He's had a great season, seven pin there for Jason. But his message to us, Randy, look, I've never won this thing. Not many tournaments, events you can describe Belmo's Hall of Fame career lacking something. This is something he's never won and it's driving him this week. This thing's tough to win. Especially when you're leaving solid sevens every other shot. Let's go back to Kimberly. Guys, you just mentioned how tough it is being on tour, but being from another country and not being able to go home adds a whole other layer of stress. Jason Belmonte hasn't seen his family since January 11th and described being away as brutal, but a necessary sacrifice to provide for them. But when I asked him about being able to finally go home and see them after four months of being on the road, he simply said, I have never been more excited to go home. Can you imagine that, Kimberly? We all got families, right? It's just three full months and the pressure of being the top ranked player in the world. He has delivered a player of the year level season. No doubt about that. I mean, being away from your family for that long is one thing. Being in a foreign country for yeah. that long is another, right? And he's got young kids, too. It's just tough. Looking for a second strike of the match. That's a better shot. Well. Seven pin stands, and he's scratching his head right now, Randy. Yeah, so am I. Three seven pins and five frames. It's ridiculous. Bad breaks or adjustments needed? Bad breaks. on the single pin spare conversion for Belmo. And O'Neill a chance to step up here for a 22 pin lead. And the turkey in the fifth. Beat Anthony Simonson, Centerville, Virginia in 2020 to win it all. Lots of experience in this fantastic event. Winner or go home, that's it. Wow. Man, we're seeing some tough breaks. Another ring of temp in there for Billy. Players haven't missed the pocket yet, and we have three strikes total. Four. Another good shot here by Bill O'Neill. Wanted that one. Working on a double, he could really put pressure on Jason. Cross lane, there's a 10 pin, got his mark. See this number here? Oh, mm -hmm. it just went away with 95% tour average. And those stats are brought to us by our good friends at Lane Talk. For more information, visit lanetalk.com. Last year in Connecticut, beat Jacob Buttriff in the playoffs and lost to Francois Lavoie in a roll off in Connecticut. Wants to get back to the championship. Win it all again. There's 10 pin. Hey, a strike. <laughs> no single pin standing. We're underway. Kia, PBA playoffs. Lake Wales, Florida, Kegel Training Center. What could be better? One versus 16. Belmo O'Neill.
the PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Visit Central Florida. Plan your next Florida getaway at visitcentralflorida.com. By Guaranteed Rate. Get cash out of your home's equity with a cash out refi from Guaranteed Rate. Learn more at rate.com. And by Kia and the new Forte GT. It's one fantastic ride. Well, we spoke about Belmo and Jasper Spence and Don Barry coming from overseas. <laughs> Long way. North Korea. I, I don't know. I, I think that's just sort of in jest. That's okay. <laughs> I, I'm going to let you handle that one. So at a commercial break, let's see how these great bowlers respond. Down 11, works on a spare. Opening the Kia PBA playoffs. Right lane for Belmo. Yeah, that's the adjustment. And he tattoos the one three pocket, all 10 back. Well, he got the seven out. Finally. Watch. There's that two-handed release and there's the revolutions the oil ring on the bowling ball now watch the seven pin all the way to the left <laughs> tried to stand up again Romo came into this season he said to us working as hard as he ever had to be as sharp as possible I'd say the hard work paid off Romo, yeah oh baby Left lane success. A strike track powered by Kia is telling us that he moved three boards left after the commercial break. What a great adjustment. Remember how close he was to second arrow. And now that one's approaching the 14th board and getting close to that third arrow. These fans are fantastic today. Back to the real deal. Up by 11, yeah, he's locked in now. And expands the lead on his best friend, heading into the eighth frame. USFL is coming starting on Saturday. Kicks off with an historic inaugural game as the New Jersey Generals take on the Birmingham Stallions, 7.30 Eastern on Fox at NBC. The USFL is back. Can't wait. Great unis. Give me football anytime. Any time. I'll take some great bowling too. We've got it. O'Neill trying for the turkey. Oh, oh, Go yeah. by 21. Yeah. yeah. Trip 10 pin. Down it goes. Great shot again by Bill O'Neill. Neither player has missed the pocket in this opening game. Remember, it is the race to two games, and if they split, we'll have a ninth and 10th frame roll off. Which is <laughs> incredibly exciting. So in game one, bowlers are learning about these conditions. It's all about getting the two. Eighth frame. Looks for the turkey, go to 11. Now these greats are catching fire. It's so unique, Randy, to have the chance to play a second game on TV or maybe a third. Yep. Just imagine if the players had a little bit more carry. Belmo got, if he could have gotten the seven pin out and O'Neill carries a couple of 10 pins, <laughs> it would be a strike fest. Six straight between them. Turkey each. This is to cut it to one for the four bagger. Foundation frame for Belmont. How about four straight? Yep. All right. Boom. <laughs> Belmont's word to describe his season. And he's booming his way through the one three pocket right now. Well, look at the max scores right here.
O'Neill can shut out Belmonte with a strike here in the ninth and two in the tenth frame. Continues for each. You know, Bill told us this week he really felt like he's had a good season. Doesn't bowl badly. Just doesn't have the wins to represent his year. One time the shot here and there, he said to us, has led to no victories, but solid to be sure. Here he is. Okay, for the first to attempt. On fire. Wow. What a great opening game here. One more for O'Neill and he's going to take game one. We've got a Pat six pack alert. If the real deal strikes here, he'll win a thousand dollars. Sponsored by Pat's Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. Dummy. Off his hand poorly, goes light, leaves the 5 8. And with a spare, Belmonte would need all three to win by one. Which he does. So no six pack there, no win for Bill. Now he's got to sit Dummy. and watch his best friend step up with a chance. Finish it up. Strike out here. Wins game one. Anything less, it goes to Bill. Look at that. <laughs> Looks for the first. with a seven pin. Four seven pins in one game. Unbelievable. Game one goes to O'Neal. Wow. On the bench, Bill O'Neill just can't believe his eyes. I can't either, Randy. Last time I saw carry this bad for Belmonte was, it was in a major where he left two pocket seven tens. And I want to say it was against Simonson. First game, race the two. Goes to the real deal. The right. Belmont wins game two. We'll have a ninth, tenth frame roll off to determine the winner of this match. Winner moves on to the round of eight. Loser goes home. Amazing. Belmont have the four bag of reading of that tenth frame. Now he's thinking about game two. Looking ahead. Yeah, he's going to look at a different ball here, too. Oh. My goodness. Game one race to two. Randy is in the books. It goes to Bill O'Neill. The real deal takes game one. 16th seed barely made this event because Norm Duke lost the Masters final. Anthony Simonson, now he's got a one game to none lead on Belmo. What a way to start our live coverage of the Kia PBA playoffs. Mike Wells, Florida, Dave Randy Kimberly with you. Entire crew watching Belmo head to head with O'Neill. Match one packed house. Throughout is raucous today. And the real deal wins game one. 
20 pin victory for Bill O'Neill. And Bellman needed to step up and strike out in the 10th. Game two starts now. It's a race to two. right back up where he left off game one and all of a sudden the number one player in the world is facing elimination. He's going to go with the reactive resin ball and move in. Big change, Belmont. Game two starts off successfully with a strike on the right lane. Well, he switched to a high road nano, and that ball just went through the pins like a locomotive. Oh. Might have to replace some pins after this show here at the Kegel Training Center. <laughs> He's staying with the urethane ball on the left lane. Just waiting for that fellow to sit down. You like that, Randy? I don't know. Mm. I'll let you know after this game. <laughs> I know he likes it. It was a great event. 148 combined titles, 34 majors, 14 of which belong to this guy. All-time record holder, major championships, Bobo left lane. Okay. Looking good. No seven pin. Four of those in game one. I don't know if he really liked this. I mean, I think the execution was what he wanted, but I'm not sure the ball reaction was. Best finish for Bill. Fourth place player championship. That's off the mark. Look out below. 210 split for O'Neill. Yeah, he got it just a little bit farther right than he wanted to, and there's lanes are slick out in that part of the lane. He's going to try to cut this two pin over into the 10. Seems like we see that so very often with the patterns where the outside part of the lane is slicker than the middle part. Just a 50%. Right on tour. O'Neill can't complete the feet. 10 pin stands. And Elmo sees a lead balloon of 22 pins on the bench. Good buddies, you know, doubles champs together, Roth Holman. PBA Tour title in 2018. Oh, Talk today. All right, that line was pretty good. Boy, I thought that was kind of in the same location that he threw on the right lane, and that one got back. What a year, 14th major. PBA Player Championship, U.S. Texas Storm Cup, the Scorpion Championship, ninth career World Series of Bowling Tour title. It's the Storm Cup as well in Lubbock, Texas. It's been a fantastic Bowling bounce back in 2022. All right, there goes the 10 pin late. As the PBA playoffs underway. This will eventually, when we get to the champion, Count as a PBA Tour title. Uh, he's going to take another re rack but there's got to be splinters in the back part of that uh, lane in the pin deck. I mean, just so much violence going through those pins. So remember when I said I, I'm not sure he liked the ball reaction mm -hmm. the last time he was on the left lane? He's actually going to use the same ball on the left lane he's using on the right lane. Interesting. That's just fascinating to me. That's a left lane, and wow. Looked like late ball reaction, just get it up that one three pocket to knock them all down. And what a start for Belmo here in game two. Perfection. 
front four. Well, not only is it a ball change, but you have to make an adjustment with feet and target as well. It's not just as simple as just grabbing another bowling ball. Huge lead here for Belmont, game two. O'Neal looking good. A two times split when your opponent has a perfect game going, or at least for four in a way. Not helpful. How many struck in three or four frames? Longtime member of Team USA. What a great career for the future Hall of Famer. Suburban Philly. You name a Philly team, lifelong fan. Cut into that lead. Oh. The definition of ringing temper. I love his his uh, tweets about the 76ers. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Embiid for MVP. I'm sure he's rooting hard. Wanted that one. That would have gotten him a little closer, but Bill Monty right now. Perfect through four. Look out. Oh, I missed it. Yep. That spells huge trouble in this game. Just had a chance to cut it to 22 to make things interesting. Now it's 45 pin lead for Belmont game two, so yeah, it's not halfway through yet, but. Both bowlers probably looking forward to the now distinct possibility of a ninth, tenth frame roll off. Looks for the front five, the Mikko, Belmo. Oh, yeah, he's locked in. Five up, five down. Got that one in and it held line. And that's because of the urethane bowling balls going down the lane and dragging oil towards the head pin. All right, ready. Ready? Oh, oh yeah. Six pack wait, wait, alert. Wait, wait. Go ahead. <laughs> Perfect. These drag series wins $1,500 sponsored by Pabst Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. Looks for the front six. Seven pin. What is going on? Come on. And the six pack alert for the next bowler moves up to $2,000. Five seven pins in a game and a half? I wonder if he's ever done that before. That's a great question. <laughs> I'll have to look that one up. That is crazy. <laughs> uh, somebody dropped something. Yeah, probably a cell. Sure. Probably a cell phone. Yeah. Oh. All right. Reloads. Has a seven pin. He maintains a nice lead here in game two. It's a race to two. The winner moves on. Jason Belmonte in firm control of game two. Looks like we're going to be heading to a ninth and tenth frame roll off. <laughs> well, I'm sure Belmont won't be able to give up a little equipment for you. I mean, just love the fan interaction. Kyle Troop, we saw just to our right here, ran in our booth signing autographs with fans. Nothing quite like the PBA Tour and the fan relationship. Now, this place is just packed today. Hey, Great Dave. Whales. Dave? Yeah? I want to know what kind of dog can eat a bowling ball. <laughs> I mean, that's not that's not the kind of dog you oh, want to go to and dog. pet. We have a golden doodle, pretty big. Can't eat a bowling ball. Eats socks constantly. I don't want to know that guy's dog. All right. 
Game two, it's been all Belmo. O'Neill does get the trip, seven pin. Well, ball change for O'Neill. He went to a resin ball, trying to find out what kind it is. There's so many, there's so many out there. But he did exactly what Belmo did to start this game. He's, he's gone to more, more hook, moved into the center part of the lane, and there it is, command. I think it's a command solid. Question answered. O'Neill, okay. Let's go back to Kimberly Pressler. Thanks, Dave. Well, Randy mentioned at the top of the show that Bill couldn't watch the last week's telecast because he refused to root against Norm Duke, who he's looked up to his whole career. But instead, he spent the day with his family at home where his four-year-old daughter, Avery, kept him occupied by painting his nails. I asked what color she chose, and he smiled big and said pink and purple on every other finger because she is working on patterns at school. All right. Great shot there, Kimberly, from Belmont right lane. And it's so interesting, Randy, that he just couldn't watch because... He his friends with Norm Duke, obviously, you know, fellow great bowler, didn't want to root openly against Norm, didn't want to see what was happening on Twitter. Yeah. He just did family uh, time instead. I mean, Bill O'Neill is a classy guy. There's no way he's going to sit there and watch and root against Norm. I mean, I, I, I was getting text messages from so many players. One that really stuck with me was EJ Tackett. And he sent me a text saying, I don't think I've ever been this nervous watching a telecast. Wow, wow. that says a lot from each. Belmo, still locked in. Still looking good here in game two. He's up by 54 pins. These guys may not miss again, which would then make this show run real heavy. <laughs> one game one, 247, 227. If we have the 1-1 one -one tie, certainly pointed in that direction. We have a ninth, 10th frame roll off to begin the 2022 Kia PBA playoffs. Wow, what a start. Right lane for the real deal. Yep. Definitely locked into the one three pocket now. And thinking ahead to the roll off. We'll go right to it. No break. Bill O'Neill has an eight and two career record in this event. That's the most wins in PBA playoffs history. Impressive, a runner-up and championship in that resume. His foundation frame, the <laughs> ten pin. <laughs> yeah, they're they're gonna strike a lot. Well, remember game one, Jason Belmonte was using urethane. He goes to react to resin. I want to show you the difference. Remember, I said not only do you just change bowling balls, but you have to move your feet and your target. So a good 10 boards at the laydown and five boards at the arrows. Strike track, powered by Kia. Double tries for another and gets another. Oh my god! Every which way. What was that? <laughs> uh, it, like the pins got slapped silly. They didn't know which direction to fall in. They just knew they had to fall, Randy. I mean, what? <laughs> so crazy. Double ring and 10 pin. Yeah, he got that one a little farther right, and he came around the corner pretty hard and left that corner pin. He's wrapped up game two. Oh. As we expected. Ninth, tenth frame roll off. This will be incredibly exciting to begin. The Kia PBA playoffs. What a start. Winner moves on to the round of eight. Loser goes home. I mean, these guys are just killing it right now. I mean, mm. it, you hate to, to see somebody lose this match.
Yeah, it sort of feels like and Simo and Normie last week. I mean, yeah, that was what an incredible title match that was. So Belmont's wrap this one up. Ninth, tenth frame roll off on the way here from Lake Wales. Belmont has qualified for the PBA playoffs all four years. Opted not to compete last year, as we talked about with COVID and back in Australia. Birth of another child. So he sat out. Just an experiment ball there for O'Neill Lee. That was a miss. Big miss right. He knows it's not going to get back from there. Outside part of the lane, slicker than an otter's pocket. I know, I know how much you liked that last week, so I thought I'd break it out again. I appreciate for you. you doing that again. Yeah. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Champ Kyle Troop will be up against Sean Rash next match here to begin the Kia PBA playoffs on FS1. Two live shows back to back today. What a start. So we're going to wrap up game two. Then the roll off, which will be next. Winner moves on, loser is done. Ninth, 10th frame roll off. Higher seed with choose the order, which of course is Belmont. By the PA rule, this 1 1 time must be broken by a ninth and 10th frame roll off. Bill O'Neill will start. So if tied, we'll have the one ball roll off. You can see the max score. This is it in our first match. Wow, what a way to start. Get the bracket out. Who moves on? Let's find out here. Best friends, roll off to open the PBA playoffs. O'Neill gets us started. Perfectly. Well, this is looking like first one that misses, loses. Interesting that Jason chose to finish on the left lane. Last time he was up on the left lane, he left that ring in 10. Remember in the 10th frame? He was perfect on the right lane. Interesting. What happens here and now? Bumbo! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Little late. Take that! You filthy animal! <laughs> Check this out. Love that movie. Oh, nine pin. Nine pin! Get down. Down you go. That was huge. Big late hit on the nine pin. Well, this is the biggie right here. If he doesn't strike on this ball, O'Neill can first strike in the 10th frame and send Belmonte home. So Belmo needs it, and Belmo gets it. That's what you do when you're the top ranked player on the planet. You deliver. Please take a re-rack. Re-rack here for Belmonte. See those kick plates, those finale kick plates on the side mm -hmm. of, of the uh, the pit? And that's what creates so much tremendous pin action here at the Kegel Training Center. Well, Belmontos is speaking low as going here. Figured there will be some high scores. Loves the conditions that you talked about earlier. Perfect for the best bowlers in the world. Uh-oh. 
Whoa. Damn it. Damn it. Two eight lead. First errant shot of the day for Jason Belmonte. Ah. Just got away. We knew what a critical miss that was. Well, if he converts, it's strike nine spare for Bill O'Neill. Converts the two-way double wood. Now it's up to Bill O'Neill to try to knock out his best friend. Strike nine spare. Got a habit to knock off the top ranked player in the world. O'Neill gets it, delivers 60 feet to success. Bill O'Neill tattoos the one three pocket. What a shot. Well, there's not a lot of players that have had Belmonte's number over the years, but Bill O'Neill has. Perfect. Nine spares, all he needs. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. How sweet it is. The top seed is done. Bill O'Neill barely was able to squeak into the playoffs. It came down to Duke Simonson last week. Simo won the Masters. O'Neill is in, and now he knocks off top seeded Jason Belmonte. Randy, get out your bracket. Wow. Let's fill in the first match. Roll off. Wow. Hey, that was fun. What a great match. Let's go to Kimberly. Well, that was pretty amazing to watch. But, Bill, can we just talk about the first match? You left an opening. Jason was not able to capitalize that, but he was able to force this roll off with the second match win. But, my goodness, you stepped up when you needed to walk us through that roll off. Yeah, so uh, I, I'll go back a little bit. I, I missed the 10-pin in the middle of the last game, and I was already thinking about changing balls, and I wasn't focused on the spare, and it showed. Uh, and I knew I needed to change balls because I knew that he was going to start striking a lot, and I was preparing for the preparing for the roll-off. And um, you know, once he he left the door open for me, I I, I just knew what I, I knew what I had to do. And um, you know, I'm glad the 10-pin fell there because I didn't want to have to shoot it again to win. <laughs> well, it worked out for you. Congratulations on advancing to the top eight. Yeah, thank you. A matchup of best friends, future Hall of Famers. It goes to the real deal. Bill O'Neill is through to the corners. Rash Troop. Another couple of future Hall of Fame bowlers head to head. Troop won this event last year in Connecticut. Rash always a threat anywhere, anytime. Our 2022 Kia PBA playoff coverage continues right here at FS1 to Eastern. Round of 16 action rolls on right here from the Kegel Training Center in Lake Wales, Florida. Wow, look at the matchups. We've got Barrett, Hanrahan, Prather, and Miller. Don Barrett, of course, a major champion this year, as was Chris Prather winning the world championship. Pro with the flow. Oh, yeah. Our defending champ, Kyle Troop, is here ready to rock head-to-head -head with a future Hall of Famer, Sean Rash. Troop, the nine seed. 
Sean Rash, the eight seed Randy. This is going to be great to watch in front of this great crowd. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of amazing bowling, match one today, fantastic for Bill O'Neill. Yeah, I mean, the, the they, they broke the lanes down perfectly. I, I think we're going to see some big, big scores in our upcoming match. All right, so how do you best preview match number two today? They're going to strike a lot. Good. And, I mean, it's, you know, the, the player that figures out a way to get his ball to go through the pins the right way to, to get the pin carry is going to win. Can't wait to watch it. Going to be fun. Kimberly Pressler is joined by our two bowlers. First, though, let's talk about the odds. Break it down here. Provided by Fox Bet. We're all even, Randy. Minus 110 for each in our round of 16 matchup. Now Kimberly is ready with the bowlers. I sure am. Thanks, Dave. So, Sean, let's start with you because you've had a pretty successful season so far, but then you were out for a few events because you had a back injury. Why don't you give us an update on that? Yeah, it's just part of sports, right? Uh, the Nationals for the Augusta National Masters this weekend with golf, and you think about what Tiger Woods is going through, and hopefully I don't have that much pain coming up. But uh, like he said in all of his press conferences, I'm here because of my team. That's why I'm here. Are you in pain today? <laughs> I don't know, Kyle, aren't you in pain too? I mean, we're always in pain, we're athletes. Uh, they don't understand how hard it is to travel around the country in a short time frame, in a car, in a plane, lugging bowling balls, and trying to support our family. This is pretty hard shit out here, so sorry for the word, but uh, it's tough out here on all of us, whether you're 20 or 40, I'll pay that fine too, but it's gonna be a great match. I'm gonna let you get back to practice then. <laughs> He's ready to go. So Kyle, um, you are the reigning player of the year, but you said that you actually had struggled a bit this season. So why don't you just elaborate a little bit on that because you did make the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, Kimberly, it's been a, definitely a little bit of a physical game struggle for me compared to last year. Uh, just not really feeling quite as sharp. Uh, the good thing with that is, you know, I've been able to grow mentally even stronger than I already was last year uh, dealing with the struggles. But, you know, i got plenty of confidence. I'm the defending champion here, and I'm ready to get a title this season. And you have some practice shots to throw as well, so I'll let you get back at it. Thank you. Top Troops ready. Sean Rash is ready. <laughs> Emotional, eventful interview with Sean there. <laughs> We are ready for great bowling on FS1. Raj Troop on the way from Lake Wales. Back here in Lake Wales, ready to resume the Kia PBA playoffs. Head to PBA.com, check out the PBA Pro Bowling video game. The game features top PBA pros, real equipment, authentic oil patterns, more than 100 tournaments, and online play. Now available for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and your PC. O'Neal knocks off Bilbo. Now match two. Defending champ Kyle Troop head-to-head -head with Sean Rash. He bowls out of Parkside Lanes in Aurora, Illinois, the 2011-12 PBA Player of the Year, Sean Rash. Well, Sean Rash is a future Hall of Famer with 17 wins and two major titles to his credit. Coming off of a back injury, looking to get back into the winner's circle, but he'll have to take down the defending champ to do it. I don't care how it happened, but he just did! Yeah! What a career. Very emotional in the interview with Kimberly pre-match today. He's been through a lot this year with a back injury. <sighs> Playoff history for Sean Rash. Not top 16 a year ago. 8-9 seed matchup. Always great in the NCAA tournament. Should be fantastic here today. Left lane for Rash, crossing over almost a Brooklyn strike with a six pin. Sean Rash going with a Zen to start. As you saw his arsenal. And wasn't the shot I expected to see going Brooklyn. out of Penn Station in Newton, North Carolina, the defending PBA Playoffs champion, Kyle Troop. 
And what a season Kyle had last year. Right there. Led the PBA nowhere. Tour in earnings with just under half a million dollars, the most ever in a single season. Y'all want to finish your move? I got you. Double pick, baby. <laughs> <laughs> pick it out. Pick it out. Oh, not, not, one. not just one, but two. Double pick. Yeah. It gets serious when it's double pick. Tomorrow all last year in Connecticut. Quarters in 2020. Early ouster in 2019 in Maine. Oh boy. Trip 10 pan. A huge Lakers fan like you are, Randy, always knows the Lakers colors. Big Kobe Bryant tribute. <laughs> oh man, you just sit back and enjoy the show. He's when, so fun when to watch. Kyle's on. He's so fun to watch. Not been the season he wanted as he sees Arsenal to follow up player of the year. But still, oh! top 16 still here and one of the best in the world. Six pin just zaps the 10 right out. And a nice early double for Kyle. Right lane for Sean Rash. Well, shot ringing 10 pin for Sean. And in our chat with him this week, RP, as we see the pins, he talked about how much pain he's in. You, you both through so much physical discomfort in your great career. What's that like? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I've, I've had four knee surgeries, three on my left, one on my right. Um, you know, it's hard enough to beat the greatest players in the world when you're healthy, let alone when you're when you're not. And um, I think backs are especially tough because, well, first of all, anytime you you hurt your back, you, you know, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to breathe and let alone throw a 15 or 16 pound bowling ball. And there's Sean's arsenal. His third frame. All right, help across the deck. <laughs> Little messenger love. The Kegel carry. Takes out the 10 pin. <laughs> Honorary pick. <laughs> Sean's pretty high and tight. I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot there to pick out. Which reminds me, I need a haircut. You mentioned that earlier. I think you look good. Man. Yeah, so no, I like the length right now. Too much gray. Right. You got to cut that out. Here's Kyle coming off an interesting trip to get here, to say the least. Go ahead, Kimberly. Well, what's the test of a good friendship, guys? Well, it's a road trip, and Kyle and Jesper must yeah, be great Kendo. friends because they survived a three-day, 2,183-mile drive cross-country from Las Vegas last weekend to Taylorsville, North Carolina, where Kyle lives. I asked them, you know, what did you do all that time? And Jesper said, Kyle talked about bowling, and I talked about everything but bowling. And if you guys are wondering about the tunes, I played everything from Swedish rap and Kyle's favorite karaoke song, The Humpty Dance. Oh, Kimberly, love that story. Here's Kyle Troop. And the 10! Tim Bird! Out it goes. That trip, RP, 38 hours. They are, as they say, truly brothers, and that's a testament. I remember those times. Oh, come on, 10! <laughs> Double guns. <laughs> Rash trying to bounce back and wants the same help, and not this time. Something getting in the way here, I think. 
That six pin was trying. Got one. All right. Mm -hmm. L3, five disc issues. MRIs had to skip Lubbock and Colorado event. Won by Belmo and Dom Barrett. Your friend sponsored by Pabst Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Grab a Pabst today. Grab a Pabst and please drink responsibly. Troop nice lead. About midway point. Game one race to two. And a trip 10 for Sean Rash. Had to throw a harder ball. Yeah, I think he just changed balls to a UFO alert. Kyle Tripp using a phase four. And he's perfect through four. PBR big right? Gonna stay perfect, looking for the nickel, yeah! Great pin action. 10 late, down it goes. Front five, Kyle Troop. Following the PBR beer friend. Now with the Paps six pack alert, if Kyle Troop strikes here, he wins $2,000. Sponsored by Paps Luba of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. All right. Can I get the sound effect again, or are you gonna wait? Oh, I'm gonna wait. wait. I'm gonna wait till he gets the six strike, and then I'm gonna do it. Shoulders back. Self talk, visualizing what he wants to do as he goes to the approach. Said, keep his shoulders back. How about six pack, Kyle Troop? Yeah. Two thousand bucks. I'll buy a few six packs. Love it. <laughs> wow, what a start for Troop here. Game one, race to two. Front six, Kyle Troop off to an amazing start here. Well, I told you there's going to be big scores in this match. The online graphics you see today, including the ball tracer, courtesy of Clutch Bowling, as always, looking awesome. Here in Lake Wales. VIPs in the house, Tom Clark, Chris Chartrand, uh, Kegel, CEO, and Del Warren from the Kegel Training Center as well. Great bowling coach, and while we were gone, look at Kyle Randy. I mean, the man's an entertainer. Yep. Always having fun. <laughs> What's better than watching Kyle Troop on TV? Watching him pull yeah. a perfect game, that'd be a little better, right? Yeah, that'd be, Front that'd be okay. This guy's got a couple of perfect games on TV. Sean Rash trying to bounce back to a tough start, looking for help, cross deck with a 10 pin. Yeah, yeah Stan. 22 Kia PBA well. playoffs underway. Remember when we were at the desk and I said the player that can figure out the right way to get I the do. ball through the pins? Sean hasn't figured that out yet. The good news, race to two, you got a second game, exactly. make a lot of adjustments. We saw Belmo with a huge bounce back game two against O'Neill, but the roll off goes to the real deal. He advances for the Rhino right, Hate to like the finals. To change that. Jason Belmonte's. Run for a first ever PBA playoffs title is over. Race to two. That's what we're trying to get here. That's crossing over Brooklyn style. Riley is awful. Big pull left. Crosses over for Brooklyn. Kyle Troop is just kind of cruising right now. He's got a great look and great ball reaction. First major, what a start to 2021 for KT. Oh, 
Roberts for the front. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, he's been so close so many times this season, and it's been frustrating for Kyle, and he admitted he hasn't been as sharp. He's pretty sharp right now. He told us this week that a year has been a struggle, or maybe he amended that a bit of a struggle. Ninth in points is still outstanding, but nothing like 2021. He ran away with player of the year for the first time in his career. Oh. Looking for the front eights. Come on! Oh. It was that mess over the attempt? Where was it? Looked like it went behind it. Darn it. Great start, though. Oh, it got interrupted. Head pin collided with another pin. Well, he told us despite not winning, he feels mentally stronger than he did even last year, which is a statement about where he is with his game. Another ball change for Sean Rash. Thinking about game two. Good shot. All right, I've never asked you this question before. What is the breakdown, in your opinion, percentage-wise, uh, mental and physical game in the sport of bowl? What's the percent? Good. You have to have a high percentage of both. I mean, obviously, you have to be physically talented, but if you don't have the mental to go with it, you're not going to beat anybody. I would say if I had my choice, I'd, I'd want more mental than physical. Great answer. Good shot. And that kind of goes back to where Kyle is with his game. He still feels as mentally strong as ever. And that also shows you how great the bowling is out here on tour, Randy, that you know, Kyle and Sean not won. Yep. Nice ball change, it's a better ball reaction. It's actually going around it a little bit more. Creating some more motion. Right lane, through, looking good. How does Sean look in terms of his back injury to you today? I think he looks fine. Yeah. A big topic of our conversation with Sean Rash this week. Right <laughs> now, the fans are having a blast. <laughs> oh, he's great. This is the numbers that you want to concern yourself with. Six pins to wrap up game one. Gonna get ten. Gets the game one victory in the race to two. One game and on. Kyle Troop. <laughs> uh, he's gonna experiment, look at another ball, but game one goes to Kyle Troop. Said to us this week, physically his game has been there all season. As he experiments a bit, his first game been wrapped up. <laughs> and he's been wondering why he hasn't won this year. If everything's in place, maybe he'll put it all together. Lake Wales and Jupiter in this year's long grind. Uh, the key of PBA playoffs. I wonder what's going through Sean's head right now. He has to figure out a way to strike when his ball hits the pocket. He left four 10 pins in game one. He's got to figure something out. All troop, game one, race to two. O'Neill has already won. To open up the 2022 Kia PBA playoffs. Now it's Rash Troop game two on the way. Who takes it? Stay with us to find out.
these gorgeous videos, courtesy of Visit Central Florida. Good fall through, great golf here, Lake Country of Central Part of the State. We are not far from Orlando and Tampa. Legoland right around the corner. Taking the kids there a few times, Randy, it's a blast. I'm not gonna try that, <laughs> but it sure looks like fun. I'm an admiration, believe me. The fans packing the Kegel Training Center. Miller time, yeah, Brad Miller is gonna compete in the top 16. Right now, Kyle Troop had a convincing game one win, 266, 218, had the front seven. Struck nine times and has the lead. Yeah, but all good. Race the two. If Rash can rally win game two, we'll have a ninth, tenth frame roll off. Yes, the back is always getting some work. Sean Rash has battled back injuries all year. McClough with a throw, starts game two, crossing over. Whoa. Oh, now. Next stop, Williamsburg, Brooklyn strike. A section of Brooklyn, by the way. I've got Flatbush next. Why? All right. Came close. Euless. Lost to Belmo for a major. Nice looking shot here by Sean Rash on the right lane. And it looks like he's committed to that bowling ball he's going to use there, which is a Rubicon UC2. Right, Left lane for Sean. Come on, looking for help on the 10 pin. Will not get it. Another 10 pin for Rash. Geez, thanks for moving the light. Charles was distracted there. Something happened down lane. Inspect the light. Shut off as soon as I let it go. Oh well. Uh, can't blame them. You let it go. Dangerous moment there for Rash is it really can't give Kyle Troop has been so locked in any room. Great career, Team USA as well for Kyle Troop. That's the way you take advantage of an opening and a Brooklyn. Good looking shot here by Kyle. I was still trying to figure out what happened on that left lane with Sean because uh, the strike track doesn't have lights. This is a good one. Dirtier than a gas station bathroom right there. <laughs> he knows where the camera is. He always knows. <laughs> Rash, a good bounce back off the open frame. Did he say true pedo, like a torpedo? True pedo, yeah. I think so. Like <laughs> Every off hit. Can I catch a hit?
Icing, stretching. Visiting the chiropractor, it's a regular part of Sean's life now. 39 years old, still trying to make some noise out here. Two pin. He's had a great career. 17 wins, two majors. I mean, no doubt about it. Amazing. One shot, changed the whole game. Lamenting the open. No specto light there. No, it's not spec. It's not specto. It's clutch. Oh. I got oh. distracted by something down lane there. Maybe with the scoreboard. All right. Now I'm being told it's the scoreboard, not really not clutch there. either. So I'm not sure. I can't see it. Kyle had the front seven game one, first three here. Oh, they stay perfect, front four. Uh oh, cross it over. Oh, -ho! Brooklyn. He turned his As back. promised. Next stop, Flatbush. <laughs> turned his back on it, waited for the crowd to erupt. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man, the nine pin. Wow. And if you're Sean Rash, you got to be just sick to your stomach. Like, I can't carry an off hit. This guy goes Brooklyn twice. Twenty fifteen first career title for the great Kyle Troops. You got eight now. Stay perfect, trip 10 pin. Got the nickel, five up, five down. Perfect, right after the Brooklyn on the right lane. Struck on 14 of 16 frames. Ross is trying to hang on for dear life, but a, a huge hole here midway through game two, and you can tell by the body language he knows it. 300, 267. 850 at me the last three games on TV. On the playoffs. Cool. Easter Sunday night on Fox. It's the most unpredictable race of the year. When Bristol meets 20,000 truckloads of dirt and chaos reigns under the lights, the NASCAR Bristol Dirt Race, Easter Sunday night, by 7 Eastern on Fox in the Box Sports app. By Grash, there's the shrug. Another ball change for Sean Rash, but is it too little, too late? He trails by 42, true perfect through five. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Get cash out of your home's equity with a cash out refi from Guaranteed Rate. Learn more at rate.com. And by Kia and the new Forte GT. It's one fantastic ride. One fantastic puller. That is Kyle Troop right now. Look at that front five. Looking for perfection today. 42 pin late game to Already leads one game to none in the race to two. Looking for possibly the 33rd all-time 300 game on TV. Mm -hmm. I had one this year. Oh, you had to go there? Yes, I have. Yes, we've got to talk history. Here comes the announcer's jinx. <laughs> Out of the commercial break. Let's see. Yep. Half a dozen. Six up, six down. Halfway home. Chip taking another re rack. Late kick on the 10. <laughs> Ooh. 
He's had multiple priceless reactions to this. It was so fun to watch. First seven in game one. First six in game two. He's already got his PBR six pack award. Looks for the front set on left lane. No two way double board. My hands were sweaty as all get out. Come on, pal. Didn't like that one. Bat off his hand. The ball actually rolled out right before it got to the head pin. But look at the big lead there. Just cover the 2-8 and move on. Kyle was a victim of Sam Cooley last year in Milford, Connecticut at the Kia PBA playoffs. 300 game. 31st all time. Oh, no. Okay. Eight pin stands, open frame. Just when it looked like it was gonna be a slaughter, a little light for Sean Rash. So the turkey here to cut it to 28. Man, I get applauded for balking now. Try to stay in this one. Okay. Trip 10 pin. Following the distraction. Long for life in game two in the race to two. Big shot coming up here for Sean to have any chance. I think he has to strike here. Bagger, Rash, delivers. Well, now it looks like he's pins. now it looks like he's struggling a bit with his back, but he still has a chance. Now it's up to Kyle Troop to put him away. Delivers. Some of the best pit action you'll see anywhere right here at the Kegel Training Center. Foundation frame tied to go up by 28 pins. As soon as he left his hand, watch this pose. That's <laughs> why <laughs> oh, Rash didn't like that off the hand. That's why. Yeah. Hey, it was fun while it lasted. Ten. Wash out. Should have waited. Troop is all but guaranteed to advance. All but over now. Shoots one lefty, and that goes into the chat. So this one's history. Top finish for Sean Rash. He's battling so many injury issues this year. Emotional start of the day. Interview with Kimberly. 
All because of one spare. With distraction, beginning of game two. Open frame, going to haunt Sean Rash here. And Kyle Troop's going to join Bill O'Neill in the round of eight. Solid season, to be sure, as Sean told us this week. Yep. Anytime you're in the top 16, that means a lot. For Kyle Troop, who loves to perform in front of this packed house at the Kegel Training Center, is going to move on. Shot of the game. Sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. Ah, uh, truth comes through. Oh, baby. Man. That's some nasty messenger across lane for the 10. Sure was. Woo, baby. And a big win for Kyle Troop. He's going to roll here. Easily over Sean Rash. Front seven, nine strikes, game one. Flirting with a 300. Front six. Game two. One round down, three to go. Shout Ready out to Guppy baseball. Troop, legendary, and also entertaining and colorful bowler is Dan. Real deal, Bill O'Neill is through. Knocked off top seed Jason Belmonte. Kyle Troop 2-0. Sweep over Sean Rash to make the quarterfinals. Back to Kimberly Pressler. Kyle, I love the fact that you were over here hyping up this crowd. What does it mean to walk away with this win with this amazing crowd behind you? Uh, it means everything. Uh, Kimberly, you know, I knew that I was going to get one more chance on TV this year, my terrible performance at the beginning of the year. I never thought I'd be dancing on TV, but, uh, you know, I made some really good shots today, had a physical trigger that really kicked in well. And I love the crowd here in Kegel. I'm ready for the next round. I hope you guys are too. Well, let's talk about the fact that you actually said that you were struggling a bit at the top of the show, but we did not see that at all today because you dominated in both of these games. What changed for you? Uh, it was just a, a little physical game trigger. Uh, I found something right before the show. Uh, me and Sean Ryan were talking, just keep my shoulders back a little bit more, and, and uh, it got me in a better position at the line. I was able to get my hand under it and put on a show for the great fans here at Kegel. You absolutely put on a show for these fans out here. But before we go, can you pick it out one more time for these fans? Anything for you, Kimberly. Pick it out. Congratulations, you're one step closer to defending your title. Wow. What a finish, and what fun to watch Kyle Troop compete. The showmanship, Randy, is such a big part of who he is. The great bowling may be a bigger part. This is an outstanding talent who wants nothing more than to defend his title. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a struggle in 2022, but you know, Kyle's worked through it. He's working real hard. He's, you heard him say he's gotten stronger mentally, and now he just needs some good some good mojo to go his way and he's going to get right back into that feeling that same way he felt last season he just pulled back to back 266 games and i mean he is pretty convincing flirting with 300 not once but twice yeah. today fun to watch convincing a good word all right so bill o'neill knocks off belmont to begin the day right surprise to you i mean he he's he has a winning record against Jason Belmonte. Four so two no. now on TV. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised. Uh, you know, Belmonte had his chance. He could have put him away in game one with three strikes in the tenth. Didn't do it. And then he could have won the roll off by striking out, or at least forcing O'Neill to do the same, and didn't do it. And made the one bad shot, and it cost him. One thing the great Jason Belmonte has never done is win this event. The key at PBA playoffs coming up next at FS1. Also streaming on the Fox Sports app. Some great action is coming your way. Packy Hanrahan, Dom Barrett, Chris Brather takes on Brad Miller, who has not won yet on the PBA Tour. 
came close in Vegas at the Masters last week with a third place finish. So coming up here on FS1, our 2022 Kia PBA playoff coverage continues. More action for the round of 16. Can't wait to watch those four great bowlers in action. Now for Andy Peterson, Kimberly Bressler, the entire crew, it's Dave Ryan saying so long for now from Lake Wales because coming up top of the hour, more great bowling on the way. Kia PBA playoffs. You've been watching the PBA on FS1. Stick with us. Stay right there. Troop O'Neill advance on our first show. I saw somebody start